We are backstage at the Brumley Gospel Sing, the Navy Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. With me, a gospel music legend, member of the Hall of Fame, Ed O'Neill. And uh, Ed, welcome to gospel music today. Thank you very much. You are looking pretty good. I feel pretty good. A little rundown once in a while and mm. a little extra things happen, but yeah, nothing to keep you from going. That's right. What was the uh, first appearance, the first time on stage with the Dixie Melody Boys? I remember it just like it was yesterday because it was so, so unusual. It was a little place uh, down in eastern North Carolina, and I can't think of the name of the little town because it's not on the main route. Uh, uh, Askeville, that's what it was. And uh, I never, you know, we didn't have a bus. My little group didn't have a bus before then. So lo and behold, they say, you're going to drive tonight. I said, I never drove a bus before, so you will tonight. <laughs> so I drove to Askeville, and we got there. That little place they called a Civic Center it was small, but it was packed at 4 o'clock. And we were excited. And I said, man, this is, this is something I had never seen before. So they started setting up a, uh, speakers in the windows. And I said, what are we doing this for? He said, oh, you can't get them all in here. It'd be hard to be full. We want to enjoy it. And uh, we got through that one with my excitement. I hardly remember it because I was so excited on stage. <laughs> Them boys can sing, you know. And uh, they put me in the bus again, and we had to be in uh, up above Washington, D.C. the next day in uh, Aberdeen, I think, Maryland. And uh, I wasn't used to driving. I, I doubt I'd ever been that way. But they said, you get on 495, and you get off 95, and you give me directions. And not far. So I drove, and I drove, and I drove, and I drove. And over an hour, I said, man, something's wrong. By that time, I saw a sign that said, welcome to Virginia. I'd been all the way around D.C. <laughs> and starting <laughs> off again. <laughs> that was my beginning. Yeah. <laughs> We've frequently hear people talk about uh, Ed O'Neill University, and we understand what that is. You've had more than 80 graduates from uh, Ed O'Neill University. Yeah. Um, you find young guys, and you bring them into the quartet, and um, some of them go on to, the, to do their own thing. Some of them go on to churches. What do you look for when it's time to get a new guy? At the time, I was looking young guys. Because of the economics of it, you know, they don't, they don't require as much money as a man married with kids, you know. Mm -hmm. But they're fresh. If they got talent, they can, oh, it's just special. And the uh, main thing I look for, I don't set up a sound system anything when I'm trying out a guy. Uh, and it surprises them. I said, I want to hear the voice. Mm -hmm. I want to hear if you've got emotion in your voice, you know. Because that's what people, that's what moves people. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people can you know, get the words and sing a song, but it don't mean a thing because they don't have, don't have that that's right. emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's what I look for. And you know, every guy that's ever been in the group, I can't think of a one that left under circumstances where we couldn't be friends and love one another. And that was special to me. I wanted to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, they call me now, you know, how you doing old man, you know, and that, <laughs> that, that pleases me. Mm -hmm. But the t-shirt thing, Rodney Griffin came up with that university thing. Really? He said he, he told somebody one night he learned more on Ed's bus than he yeah. did in four years of college. Yeah. And he said, so we're calling this bus Ed O'Neill University. <laughs> and so we made a T-shirt. Well, it went years and they give out and it went years didn't get any. But uh, a little over a month ago, Josh said, let's get some more of those. I'm getting a lot of talk about it. So we got a new design put on one and we got to order our men 12 dozen gross, what I usually order. And they were gone in less than three weeks. Is that right? I said, maybe we better order another gross. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but people just, I, I appreciate it. I yeah. really do. Yeah. One of your graduates, um, McCray Dove. Yes, sir. You're doing a, a series of uh, concerts with his group now. McCray and, Evan, McCray and I have never lost that closeness. Uh, he calls me or I call him at least once or twice a week just talking about different things. In fact, talk to him this afternoon. Uh, and that together again, tour that we're doing is really successful. We're not doing that much because mm -hmm. I've got to do what I've got to do. Yeah. But we're doing it tomorrow in uh, Renfro Valley. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done a few that really, they don't want you to quit. It's nostalgia. Yeah. People yeah. love that. Yeah. It's almost like Gerald Wolf stealing my idea about him singing. <laughs> Talked to him one night. I said, you know what? I, 
I, I believe 90% of the people who come and buy a ticket to be in a concert love to sing. Yeah, that's that's And right. they do. Yeah. And what I see on videos, big mammoth churches full of, and Gerald up there doing that. He's my buddy though, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart guy. Yeah, he is, and those have been very successful. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, CD by the Dixie Melody Boys, Revived, is that the current That's the newest one? one, I hadn't done one yet. Yeah. Sales are kind of slow, you know, on, yeah. on the music part, it really mm -hmm. is. And, and I'm trying to think how to handle it. Yeah, well if you find a way, I think a lot of people will want to know <laughs> what, GM's what it got, is. GM's got to find a way. Yeah. They can get out of that CD in a car and put a, put a what do you call it, down, download and a little stick in there. Yeah. And yeah. play all they want to. I heard oh, the uh, 2018 cars, a lot of them are not going to have CD players. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Times have changed. Well, Ed, uh, it's always good to see you, and My uh, we want to thank you for being on Gospel Music My today. Pleasure. Always glad to be around. Thank, thank you. you very much.